The key responsibility of leadership is to think about the future. No one else can do it for you. Hi, I'm Coach Erica at Pittsburgh Fit with your PF Go workout for today. We're going to go ahead and start our warm up off with some practice with a jump rope. We're going to go ahead and do two rounds of 20 calf raises, 20 bunny hops, 20 single unders. So, calf raises, you're just going to have your feet fairly close together. You're going to come up onto your toes, lower down with control. What I don't want to see is that you're rolling back and forth between your toes and your heels. We should be just tapping the ground with our heels and coming right back up. After that, you're going to go right into bunny hops, which you're going to stay on your toes and hop. What I want you to focus on here is making sure that you're keeping your chin and your mouth relaxed and you're keeping your chest upright so that when you pick up a jump rope in a little bit, you're ready for that. Just like so. Beautiful. After that, you're going to grab your jump rope. You're going to do 20 single unders. A single under is when the jump rope goes around your body one time per one hop. Just like so. Perfect. You're going to go through that one more time before we move on to the rig. So next up in our warm up, we have passive active hangs, kip swings, and pro and retract push ups. So passive active hangs, that's when we're on the rig and we um, practice shrugging our shoulders while holding on to the rig. However, if you are, do not feel comfortable holding on to the rig, you can do arm circles instead, just like so. Beautiful. Nice job, Grace. You're going to do 10 forwards, 10 backwards. After that, you're going to do 10 kip swings. Again, if you don't feel comfortable holding on to the rig, you can come on down for 10 pulsing supermans. So you're going to lay on your belly, you're going to squeeze your butt, your back, your shoulder blades, hold for one second, slowly lower, tap the ground, right back up. You're going to do that for 10. Now everyone is going to do 10 pro and retract push-ups. You're going to come into a plank position. You're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together and then push them apart. Notice Grace's arms are not doing anything. It's just all in the shoulder blades. That's what we're looking for here. You're going to go through that one more time and now we're going to move on to our skill portion for today. So we are doing a skill portion today, not a strength portion. So we're working on some technique. We're working on our skills with toes to bar and pull-ups and double unders. So you're going to start off with three two for one toes to bar. What that means is you do a kip swing, a toes to bar, kip swing, toes to bar, kip swing, toes to bar. You end up doing three toes to bar with three extra kip swings in there. If you do not feel comfortable doing this, then you will be on the ground and I'm going to have you do 10 tuck ups or 10 V ups instead. If you don't have toes to bar, um, but you are feeling comfortable enough to hold onto the rig, you are more than welcome to do this with hanging knee raises instead. Next up, we're going to work on double unders for 30 seconds. So you're going to grab your jump rope, and no matter, no matter where you are in your jump rope ability, you're going to practice some double unders or some sort of jump rope practice. If you are very good at double unders, you can go for triple unders. If you're struggling between single unders and double unders, you can do every other. One single, one double, one single, one double, two singles, one double, whatever floats your boat. Even if you are really good at double unders, adding in some sort of pattern between single unders and double unders um, can make things a little bit more difficult and you can really practice control over your jump rope um, by doing that. Next up, you're going to move on to three two for one pull up. So you're going to jump up, you're going to do a pull up into a kip swing, into a pull up, into a kip swing, into a pull up, into a kip swing. So you do three pull ups and with three extra kip swings um, during those three sets. If you do not have pull ups, you can do this with, you can do sets of 10 ring rows instead or you can do bent over rows instead if you do not feel like if you don't want to either use the rings or the pull-up bar which would look like that beautiful after that you're going to grab your jump rope for another 30 seconds of jump rope practice and then you get to rest we're going to be rolling through this three to four times a clock will be set for 12 minutes and however many rounds you get done 12 minutes awesome know that this is for practice and this is for building skill so we're not in a rush to do this after this we're going to move on to our workout for today our workout for today is for time you're going to be doing 100 double unders 30 toes to bar, 100 double unders, 40 pull ups, 100 double unders, and then save the best for last 50 burpees. Everyone's favorite. So, 
For the double unders, you have three sets of 100 in here, which is a lot. If you're doing double unders today, please make sure you cap yourself at two minutes. I don't want you working for any longer than two minutes on each set of 100 double unders. If you're doing single unders, you can do 200 single unders, but again, make sure you cap yourself at two minutes. There's no reason to work any longer than two minutes on each set of these, and I don't want you to get too frustrated during this workout. Next up, you have the toes to bar. You can do tuck ups or V ups instead, or hanging knee raises. Any, any of those are options for today. Then, after that, we're gonna have our pull ups. You can do pull ups, you can do ring rows, or you can do bent over rows like we went over earlier. Then, for our burpees, like I said, we saved the best for last. 50 burpees. I want you to try and go fast during these 50 burpees. It's the last piece of the workout for today. You're almost done. It's a little light at the end of the tunnel. You're going to hit the ground. Everything touches is the ground and you come back up. What I want you to focus on is trying to get your feet as close to your hands as possible. Feet should come just outside the hands, good, just like that. Being able to get your feet all the way to your hands makes you more efficient doing the burpees. Guys, this is gonna be spicy. Have a great workout, have a great day.